Hello and welcome to this new video on my channel. Today I'll show you how to update your Windows 10 to Windows 11 Insider Preview without needing a Microsoft or Insider account and without needing the TPM2 chip or Secure Boot enabled. So I'll show you that this PC is currently incompatible with Windows 11 because it does not have a TPM2 chip installed. So it's checking for updates and now it's checking my PC and as you will see yeah there you go the PC must support TPM 2.0 and my PC doesn't support TPM 2.0 in this case so I'll show you how to bypass this so to bypass the Windows 11 system requirements for Secure Boot and TPM2, we'll simply copy over the system requirements from Windows 10 to the Windows 11 setup. So what do you need for this? You need the Windows 11 ISO file flashed onto your USB stick. Um, I've already made a video on how to download this Windows 11 ISO file and I won't show you how to flash it onto a USB stick because um, there are many YouTube videos already out there and I w don't want to show it all over again so you can use Rufus for example but simply watch one of those videos but you also need a Windows 10 ISO file so you can simply download that from Microsoft then right click on it go into the sources folder and copy over the app razorres.dll file to your desktop. So this file contains the system requirements. So here's my app razorres.dll file from the Windows 10 installation. And yeah, you simply go to your Windows 11 USB stick, go into the sources folder, and then cut or copy the app razorres.dll file into that folder and make sure to replace the old file yeah, so replace the old file now I'm going to run the setup application again and yeah wait for the start and go to this first page again now it's checking for updates and as you will see in a few seconds now it's checking my PC and yeah, it is getting a few things ready and here is the uh, terms of service dialog. So there you go. This is Windows 11 with bypass TPM2 and secure boot check. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and write down your questions in the comments. And yeah, see you next time.